What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol ASTR for Astra Space. On the left hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will be an update. You can see we have a couple of prior levels marked off. Notably, the top of this range in here is starting to act as support. You can see certainly the large lower wick that punctured, and then we come back up through and kind of close right on the area. So to me, it's all about do we get back above and close above, start printing candles above $9.78. If we look at the 30 minute chart as well, notice that it's just a big shelf of support. So in here, a bit of a fake breakdown, right? But immediately recovered on the earnings announcement. So again, it's all a matter of can we start printing candles back above and really confirm that we want to use this as support moving forward. That would be the first sign of strength in my estimation in this stock. Now, after that, from the daily perspective, notice that we have kind of resistance here and then up here as well. Um, so we'll talk about that in a second. But if we take a closer look at the 30 minute, this is where where things sort of shift a little bit and we have something else to pay attention to, which simply is this resistance trend line right here. Now, I'm not going to cherry pick and get this wick from in here. That's a bit of an anomaly. But if you look at the fit, right, so anchor, touch number one, touch number two, again, anomaly there, three and sort of four ish in here. If we make any sort of move higher, it could coincide perfectly for 10, the nice psychological number for overhead resistance. So that's definitely on my radar into the upcoming or remainder rather of the week. We just have Friday. And if that can break, then maybe that uh, again leads to that next daily target from here, 1032 and then 10, 1076, the top end of what we've seen recently, the pivot highs. So those are upside levels. If we reject here at the 978 and can't get any acceptance back above, we can't print candles above, then simply look for today's low of day, which is in here. Let's go ahead and grab the other tool try that again uh, so here we go that low of day is going to be at and around nine dollars and <coughs> excuse me sorry about that nine dollars and 25 cents and if that goes notice it's also the daily 50 sma so i would simply look for a larger breakdown to take you into 887 basically the low end of support here also held it to the t on this little bit of a pullback before making that sort of ex exploration higher up and out of the range so that needs to be the line in the sand obviously things get nasty if that breaks we don't really have any clean structure all the way down until 745 so please just be careful at and around this area here, you would really need to probably see, in my estimation at least, this is what I would feel comfortable with, right? Some sort of either double bottom, some sort of inverted head and shoulders, some sort of structural pattern down here at 887 or nine, the round number, if you like rounding off. You need some sort of structure to really set up the next long trade. I wouldn't really buy it as a first touch on the pullback here. So that's really gonna wrap up the video. We have levels up and down, but I really do think that the main pivot here in this stock into Friday is simply going to be this 978. If we're above, fine, you have those signposts to really look out for resistance trend line then you can walk up the levels if we're underneath look out for low of day and if that breaks be careful at nine waiting for some sort of pattern for the next long trade to develop that's really going to wrap up the video if you enjoyed it or learned anything new today let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up don't forget our main channel is linked in the description and all of that being said i wish you a green trading week